12 years here, seven appearances in the final, and five national championships. What has made Nebraska so successful at this tournament throughout the years? We're awfully lucky in that people like Julia decide they want to be a Cornhusker, which makes my job a whole lot easier. It's not my recruiting. I can't sell space heaters to Eskimos. But it ends up being if they come our direction, we're open arm and it works certainly well with she and all the predecessors. We're just very lucky. Now, Julia, is that something that attracted you to Nebraska? Um, it means my recruiting skills. Such, <laughs> such great success at the national tournament, and you know that you would be in the mix to compete for the NCAA title? Of course, that's a major reason why I decided to come to Nebraska. When I looked at all my potential opportunities, at the end of the day, I went with the one where I thought, you know, this is where I can thrive and this is where I think I could have the most success and where I thought I could, like, um, like provide for the team. Now, you've already won a championship. You won last year in St. Louis. You were the MVP. Um, you were number one ranked for much of this season. How do you stay hungry? How do you, um, you know, do, do you want to win this one? even more so than you wanted to win last year. How do you keep that drive going? I think I do want to win more than I did last year just because knowing uh, what that feeling is and wanting to feel that again and have that experience. Um, as far as what to do to stay hungry, I'm not, that's a hard one because I feel like that's not something you can teach. I think that's just having the right people around you and feeling comfortable with yourself and, ha and with your coaches and having good communication. So I think it's I think it's a combination of things, but I think it's more of just, you know, having that inner drive, honestly. But I'm not sure like, <coughs> what it takes. I think it's just something that if you get the right people around you, you end up just feeling it and it kind of collectively just comes out. And do you feel that you have the right group around you, that this team is something special this year? Of course, I think they're all a great group of girls and I'm happy with the people that we have. and. I think we've done a really great job at finding out like our new dynamic and kind of reworking our little inner group. And we've had some, you know, some struggles like, but to overcome those, I think, you know, makes us stronger at the end. Now for coach, um, Thanks. you've obviously been around a lot of high quality teams throughout the years. Is there anything in particular about this group that stands out to you? or that you're most proud of? Every group that we have in here, my primary goal is job security. Can I keep the bosses happy? We get people like Julia and her teammates are all excellent student athletes. And as I was told years ago, they put student in front of athlete for a reason. They do great in the classroom, which makes my security better. When they do also great athletically, now I'm really enjoying it. We're lucky we got both. Correct. Um, what do you have to do to stay focused uh, coming into the championships here? I'm, I know you're probably practicing a lot and just bowling, but what is it? What do you have to do to keep the team focused if there's such a thing going on? I think that kind of goes back to practice and what we focus on, like during practice. We do many drills. We work on kind of fine details because when you get towards the end of the season, it's not really about fundamentals anymore. It's more about fine-tuning those details. And then we have a lot of group meetings. And so sometimes that'll, like, coach intends them to be maybe only 20 minutes, but sometimes they end up going to almost an hour because we really want to hash this stuff out. <laughs> and so... What kind of deal is that? Telling tales. Um, it's usually we talk about how can like x tournament go better like what can we do differently what do we need to do better what can each person individually do to help the success of the team so a lot of i think a lot of mental stuff how can we control our emotions how and, and physical how can we control our own games and how can we get those to simultaneously happen uh, coach i have a question for you sure Sure. Uh, two of the better bowlers in the country, maybe the two best. Um, 
Sorry. That must be somebody's dad. Sorry. They are both sophomores. So can you just talk about what it's been like to see two of the best players in the country as, at the same age, especially one on your team, and what you look forward to in a four-year career? For the most part, I've got enough of a job trying to take care of our kids. Everybody's a work in progress. Certainly Stephanie and Julie are no different than that. You just hope you got things headed in the right direction where that upwardly movement is going to continue. Julie is certainly better now, in my opinion, than she was last year, and she won last year. We got a sport where you, the better you get, the more control you have, the better chances you are. It's nice to see people who can get that accomplished, especially at a young age.